Yeah, I work. I work there this whole off season. It's kind of just works your hand speed, working hand timing. You know, you're thinking with your hands and stuff. So it's been really beneficial for me. So I'm gonna just just continue to do it every year, every off season. Yes, sir. And is there anything that it benefits you maybe mentally, martial arts outside of the field? Definitely. I mean, every single thing that we do, even like when we're doing the sticks and chopping and stuff like that, it kind of works your mind and your hands. And you, ha and you have to actually work it quicker whenever you have the sticks in your hands. So, I mean, it works. It works everything, honestly. A lot of new faces in that front seven group. Uh, what's the energy like in that room now? Uh, we're we just thinking about being champions. We're just thinking about stacking days and just buying in. That's all we really can do. We're just going to uh, attack every day and just go at it like we're going to win it all. So. Do you see a unit that's better against the run when you look at those new guys that are here? Oh. Has that been a problem the last two years? Uh, I, I, def I definitely feel like we're definitely bringing a big emphasis towards the run. And I feel like we're going to stop the run. I mean, that's, that's a given. We're, we're doing everything. We've got the people to kind of do it. You know, we're stouting there. So I feel like we're definitely going to stop the run this year. Anybody in particular that, that's been added that you think makes you better? Roy, Roy Malcolm, just the name of Fru. Just name a few, but I mean, D-Ham, like everybody, honestly. I mean, we're, com we're coming to work every day. I mean, each, each and every one of us are kind of like even match. So it challenges us every day. We already know if one, one person mess up, another one like breathing down their neck. So it keeps us all on our, on our A game. How about getting after the passer? How do you feel like this new scheme is going to get you guys a couple more sacks? Um, I definitely feel like it will. I mean, everybody mugged up. You don't really know who's coming. You got seven people on the line at one time. It's, it's bound to work, you know. We're bound to get one-on-ones a lot more and be able to actually get there. We're going to be running a lot of man coverage in the back, which will give us a lot of time as well, too. So. How do you and your teammates like hearing the, your name over the loudspeaker? How do we, how do we like it, our name? I mean, it, I feel like it definitely just uh, keeps that competitive spirit going. I mean, like, we're all trying to, trying to hear our name on our intercom anyways out, out there on the, big, on the big field. So just hearing on the, on the practice field, it's great. It's motivation. How much has it helped you and maybe helped Jihad? you guys to kind of reunite here? It's helped a lot. I mean, our camaraderie was already there, and it's just going up as like a step up now. Now that we're in the pros now, you know, we, we're getting paid to do it now. But, I mean, honestly, it kind of feel like college again. It's, it's like that team camaraderie. You can't, you can't replace that, you know. And when you, when you really buy into being a team, like that's when the wins really start coming on. Winner, loser day. So a winner loser day. Uh -huh. So how different was the intensity today, and do you like that kind of challenge? Oh, yeah, I like the challenge. I mean, Usually the practices go by a lot quicker. Whenever it's com like all that competitive energy going, the adrenaline start flowing, you kind of don't even feel it. I mean, like I, I remember the whistle blowing, and then I kind of just blacked out in the end of practice. So, I mean, it, it feels good just being able to compete every day. Yo, what is uh, Joe Collins' energy really like to be around? Oh, he, he's going to yell at you. <laughs> Today we were, we were joking, like, he needs some tea or need a lozenge or something. He's losing his voice. But he, he's, he's bringing it every day. I mean, he's bringing his all, and that, that's what we expect. So, I mean, if he's going to bring it all, we're going to bring out, bring out everything that we got, too. I know he spends a lot of time on the defensive line. You know, that's the background. Just how, how important is it to have a coach who, you know, is that kind of in tune to what you guys do? It's great. I mean, we know we know it all starts with the line. That's how that's how we go about it. So I mean, we're the first people to like up to the ball with first contact. Everything we you know we we really lead the charge. So that's how we're taking it. You've moved around a lot in your career. It seems like you're moving around a lot in this scheme. Does that help having you know, playing a lot of positions before? Oh, definitely. Uh, I've done that my whole career. Just playing inside, outside, doing whatever I need to do to be able to help the team win. So. I mean, now I'm like dropping weight and I'm going to be on the outside more and then I still have to go on the inside as well. So, I mean, it's just a plus. It's just going to help me really just uh, center my game all around, all around. When you left here last year, did you think you were done in Jacksonville? No, sir. Uh, I definitely didn't. I mean, through, throughout the offseason, I kept getting asked, like, do you want to return? Do you want to return? Yeah, I love Jacksonville. I love the city. I bought a house here. My family loves it here. I'm not planning on leaving here for a long time. Change your routine at all to drop weight for the season? Definitely. <laughs> I got a chef now. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I just, I just been just trying to eat rice, veggies, some protein every single day and just keeping my, keep my diet kind of the same. My body's been uh, receiving it very well. Was that something that you just came up with on your own or something that they kind of talked to you guys about watching your diet? Uh, yeah, I mean, they definitely told me to like lose weight and stuff, but I mean, you kind of just, you, you know your body. You, you got to do it. You got to go about it the way that you feel it. And my wife knows my body as well. And she helped me a lot, told me I need to get that chef. So that's what I did. Do you feel better with a little bit less weight on the field now? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, I came in drafted. I was like 255. So, I mean, being down there, that's that's where I live. So it's great. What made you change your number? Uh, <laughs> going back to college, I mean, even in middle school, high school, and college, I had number 91. And when I came in, Jan, you know, he had it. I had to, had to let that kind of die now, let that buzz kind of die down for a year before I hop back in it.